What's up, YouTube? Ryan back today with a week nine minor league recap. So many good performances this week. Let's jump straight into it. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Again, a week nine minor league recap, focusing on top prospects and top performers this week. Been a really good minor league season, and if you're in the sports card hobby, prospect cards are booming right now. They really are. They're continuously going up when a lot of stuff is going down right now, and it's actually a lot of fun. Well, specifically because most of my collection is prospect stuff, but it's just a lot of fun, you know? Something else to look at instead of, you know, vintage cards or current major league players or professional basketball players, football players, any of that. Minor league baseball players, their cards are booming right now. We're going to just talk more about it this week within the week nine recap. But yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. So we're going to do more of the same this week. We're just going to recap every level of minor league baseball, focusing on top prospects. We do have a couple lower end prospects today just because they did so well this week. And yeah, we're just going to jump straight into it. If you guys like these recaps, want me to keep doing them, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments as always, if I forgot anybody, put them down below. So me and whoever's watching this video can scroll down in the comment section, see a stat line. This week is filtering from June 27th to July 3rd. This was last week, Sunday to Saturday week. And yeah, if I forgot anyone, put them down in the comments below. All right, let's do it. Low A baseball. First player this week in low A, Noel V. Marte. You know, a prospect that's very promising, someone that a lot of people are looking at lately. You know, he had a good week this week. Over five games, he hit 292 with a 346 on base percentage and 929 OPS. He had seven hits in five games. He had two home runs on top of that, a double, and he walked twice. So a pretty solid week to start us off in low way. But yeah, Noel V. Martins had a really good season so far. Right now, he's currently the 83rd prospect overall. And, you know, I think he's going to keep climbing because he is doing really well, showing a lot of promise. Solid week. Next up, AJ Vukovic, and this is one I really like to see because this is the player I was most excited about from my Diamondbacks draft this year. Just a giant kid, 6'5", 210. He was ranked number five in the draft for just raw power. And, you know, he's done really well recently, specifically this week. This week, he hit 333 with a 417 on base percentage, 667 slugging percentage, and nearly 1,100 OPS. He hit two home runs. He had a double. He had seven hits in five games. He even walked one time and got bean twice. So got on base a lot this week, showed that power, and, you know, he's hitting like 280 now. So really happy with that, especially for, you know, someone out of high school, you know, bigger kid. Fourth round draft pick, so nothing like expecting anything humongous I am, but from most people's prospecting eyes, he had a good week. Good job. Next player up, ASU baby, Trevor Haver. And I promise I'm not being biased. He just had a really good week this week. I know I got the D-backs and then ASU boy. Anyways, this is the Yankees third rounder this year in the 2020 draft you know he hit six home runs in the first week and hasn't hit one since the power has been lacking but this week he got back on track didn't hit any home runs but he hit 533 with a 611 on base percentage nearly a 1300 ops he had eight hits in four games he had two doubles he had five rbis he walked three times just an awesome week for trevor however good to see it hopefully he gets him going again because he was slumping like i said so that put him back around 300 for the season. So still doing really well in low A for the Tampa Tarpons. I just, I hope he gets brought up soon. Next player we're talking about, Anthony Volpe. He was the first round pick in 2019 for the Yankees. And the Yankees are usually really good at drafting. Anthony Volpe, he really didn't have a great first year. And, you know, a lot of people were questioning maybe why the Yankees drafted him. This year is completely different. He is hitting a full stride right now. And this week being his best week so far. At least in my opinion, he had 444 with a 722 on base percentage, a 1600 OPS. He had one home run. He had a double. He had four hits in four games. What I liked the most was seeing him walk eight times. Absolutely loved that. He only struck out four times too. He even stole two bases. So amazing week for Anthony Volpe, and he's not even our top player. The top player this week is someone who keeps making these videos now, Marco Luciano, who I believe will be the number one prospect in baseball at some point. His skill set is just absurd. He had another good week this week. He hit 368 with a 538 on base percentage, a 750 OPS. He had seven hits in six games, and five of them were home runs. <laughs> five home runs in one week. 
He's only 19 years old. He has 14 home runs now. He leads low A in home runs. He had 10 RBIs on top of that. He even walked five times. And he got beaned twice. So just a really amazing week. He just keeps getting better. Like I said, every video I keep saying his box scores look better and more consistent. And they just keep on doing that. Hopefully he gets moved up soon. Like, check out this home run. The power is so effortless for him. Like, that doesn't even look like it's hit hard, and these outfielders aren't even moving. All right, let's jump into high A. We have some really good performers this week. Only three of them, though. First player in high A, Brett Beatty. You know, one of my favorite prospects. My favorite swing in the minor leagues currently. Absolutely like everything about Brett Beatty. Just continues to hit, honestly. Like, if he's not the most consistent hitter in the minor leagues this year... I mean, someone's doing extremely well because I think he might be it. This week, again, just playing really well. Over seven games, he hit 375 with a 400 on base percentage, 817 OPS. So not too much power this week, only one extra base hit. But he had nine hits in seven games. He walked once on top of that and stole a base. So even without the power, Brett Beatty still putting up absurd numbers. And you need to have those weeks. You're not always going to hit home runs. So really impressive stuff from Brett Beatty. They need to put him in double A. They just need to do it. Second player in high A, and I'm really happy with this one because this is a player I kind of preached before the season started to buy and someone I like from the draft a lot. Zach Deloach for the Seattle Mariners plays for the Everett Aqua Sox. So he was with Julio Rodriguez before Julio Rodriguez got brought up to double A. And, you know, he started off really slow. He was hitting like 230 for a while. And now he's up close to 300. And this week being his best week so far, or at least one of his best weeks so far, because he did win player of the month for the high A West division. And this week he hit 385 with a 484 on base percentage, 1138 OPS. He had 10 hits in six games. He hit five doubles, three triples. Didn't have a home run, but, you know, a lot of extra base hits still. He walked four times and got beamed once. So just a really good week for Zach Deloach. Again, I'm really happy to see because it's someone I kind of preached and told people to buy. And, no, he's living up to it now. He's looking good. Who knows? Maybe we'll see him in double A soon. And then the player of the week this week in high A, for me, it's Griffin Conine. This dude continues to hit home runs. He's currently one home run behind Joe Adele for the minor league lead. He's just doing crazy stuff this year. Griffin Conine, son of Jeff Conine, former MLB player. Last year, he actually got popped with PEDs, and it wasn't great because I do have some of his cards. I just decided to buy a couple of them. You know, professional dad seemed like he had a lot of power, and, you know, I don't know how the, the PEDs from last year will play into his whole career or if they'll ever look back on it. Hopefully not because it was just like his first year in pro ball. So, so if he goes clean from here on out, you know, he might be good. But anyways, this week, absolutely killed it. Over six games, he hit 381 with a 536 on base percentage, 1600 OPS. He hit five home runs. And I apologize. He actually has 17 home runs now. He's tied with Joe Adele. So just a really awesome week for, for Griffin Conine. 12 RBIs on top of that with five walks. Even stole a base, got bean twice. Like Griffin Conine's doing a little bit of everything this week and just looks really good. He's still only hitting like 260. So he's hitting just for a lot of power. It's really similar to Joe Adele, but Joe Adele's even hitting worse than that. But you know, a really good week for Griffin Conine. Hopefully see him in double A soon just because he's a little bit older. He's 23 years old. So we'll see what happens. But player of the week for high A, no matter what. Let's talk double A baseball. As we get into the higher divisions, like double A here, where you're going to have more video, more of those games are broadcasted. But Shea Langoliers continues to hit well for double A. He just keeps on hitting home runs, honestly. He's doing really well. Shea Langoliers is the ninth overall pick back in the 2019 draft from Baylor University. He's doing really well this year, honestly, in double A. He looks really good. He's a promising young catcher for the Braves that they really like. Anyways, over six games this week, he hit 333 with a 429 on base percentage, almost 1,100 OPS. He hit two more home runs, six hits in six games. He walked three times on top of that. He even got intentionally walked. You don't see that in the minor leagues ever. And he stole a base. So really good week for Shea Langoliers. And he's only our first player this week. Next player in double A, Mason Martin. For double-A Altoona for the Pittsburgh Pirates, this dude's power is different. He hit 35 home runs last year in the minor leagues, and he's looking to do the same this year. Mason Martin, similar to a couple other guys, this is someone that I've talked about in the past as like a low-key prospect to watch out for because, like I said, he hit 35 home runs last year. Only hit like 250, but 35 home runs. He's only 22 years old now. The dude knows how to hit a home run. Like, it's ridiculous. Really good week this week. Over four games, he hit 357 with a 438 on base percentage, 1366 OPS. He hit two home runs, two doubles, he had five hits in four games. He even walked once and got beamed. So, really good week for Mason Martin. 
For someone that honestly started off a little slow power-wise, he has 13 home runs now, so he's only four shy of the minor league lead at 17 with Griffin Conine and Joe Adele. And I think Mason Warren is going to be in that conversation all year. The dude just has a lot of power. I've said it once. I've said it many times. Julio Rodriguez always finds his way on these videos. He got moved up to double A, and he already hit a home run. Opposite field bomb, way out. Absolutely love. Doesn't even look like he hit the ball hard either. So Julio Rodriguez, just such a special player. And I've said many times before, like I would be okay if the Mariners brought him up tomorrow because, you know, he got brought up to Double A this week and he's doing just fine. Over five games, he hit 353 with a 522 on base percentage, 1100 OPS. He had six hits in five games. He did hit a home run. He hit a double as well. Five walks in five games. Love to see that. And he got beamed once and he stole a base. Like. What can Julio Rodriguez not do at this point? He's only 20 years old, too. Him and Marco Luciano are going to be the youngest guys we see on these recaps week in and week out. And, you know, he's just so good. He's ridiculously good. I just can't say enough about the guy. He's probably going to be the number one prospect in the very near future. Like I said, I think Marco Luciano will be it eventually. But in the near future, I think by the end of the year, I think J-Rod's going to be number one. And I'm giving double-A player of the week to Bobby Witt Jr. this week. Just really good. Shows his opposite field power. He's shown that he can hit home runs through all fields consistently this year. What can't Bobby Witt Jr. do? Killed it this week. This week, Bobby Witt Jr. over seven games hit 379 with a 472 on base percentage, 1,000 OPS. He hit that one home run. He had two doubles on top of that. He had 11 hits in seven games. He even walked three times, got beamed three times, and even stole a base. Still working on that stolen bases thing because he got thrown out twice, but just a really good week all around for Bobby Witt Jr. Love seeing him get on base for free six times this week between the three walks and the three beans. Like, love to see that. And I will say he did have a, a setback. He left his game on, I think it was Saturday, with a slight injury, but they say he's going to be fine. He just did it. It was like a cramp, precautionary. Should be back in the lineup on Tuesday, which is the day I'm actually recording this video. All right, let's round this week out with Triple A. We had some really good performers. Since Wander Franco got brought up, Videl Brujan is definitely the guy to watch on the Durham Bulls down in Triple A now. You know, he did really well this week. He's been slumping, to be honest. Like, an unexpected slump, I think, from a lot of people. Like, I didn't expect him to slump. He had a really big slump. Finally busted out of that slump this week. Over six games, he had nine hits. He hit 375 with a 464 on base percentage, a 1048 OPS. He had a triple. He had two doubles. He had four walks on top of that. Just a really solid and much needed week from Vidal Brujan. Happy to see it. Next player up, Joey Bart. You know, he hasn't been in a video this year. You know, he's done pretty well in AAA. But nothing like blown away to get on these videos. He had a good week this week, you know. Over three games this week, he hit 375 with a 545 on base percentage. Nearly a 1300 OPS. He had one home run. He had three hits in three games. He walked twice and got beamed on top of that. So just a really solid week for Joey Bart. Still showing that he's relevant. And who knows, maybe he'll end up on the roster again here soon. Because he did get brought up last year. Just one of those players that hasn't come up this year because of their success. They've been The Giants haven't needed them. They've been so good. Next player, Nolan Jones, another one just so happy to see because this is a guy I've preached. And even in my last video, when I top 10 prospects, he's one of those guys that I've talked about just because his ability to get on base is phenomenal. And I talked about it. He's been struggling offensively, at least his hitting ability. He's still walking a crap ton, but his hitting ability has been lacking. I was hoping to turn it around, and this week he did just that. Over six games, he hit 381 with a 458 on base percentage, 1268 OPS. He had one home run, one triple, four doubles, so a lot of extra base hits. He had eight hits in six games. He walked three times on top of that, and he stole a base. So really good week for Nolan Jones. Hopefully this catapults his season into just more consistent contact, better at bats, more hits. Yes, he's walking a lot still, but I can't have him hitting 230. He's not going to get brought up hitting 230. So hopefully this is the start of something big, and hopefully he gets brought up pretty soon if he stays consistent because I really do think the Indians are just waiting for him to get hot, and I think they're going to bring him up. So... Really good week from Nolan Jones. Like to see it. Next player up, someone I never expected. Jose Miranda, he plays for AAA St. Paul. Hit three home runs in one game this week in AAA. And honestly, I didn't even know who this guy was before this week. I'm not going to lie. And I follow a lot of prospects, but Jose Miranda, he's only 23 years old, so he's still pretty young. He plays for AAA St. Paul, and this was his first week in AAA, and he actually hit three home runs in one game. So this week, over seven games, he still hit 400 with a 406 on base percentage, 1273 OPS. He hit those four home runs 
two doubles. He had 12 hits in seven games, 11 RBIs, and even had one walk on top of that. Just a really good week for Jose Miranda. And this is someone that's on my on my radar now. Like, he's doing really well this year. Like, really well. And I think, honestly, he might find the roster for the Twins this year. It's really nice to see these random prospects. I think he's number 16 on the Twins list to just absolutely blow up. So, Jose Miranda, I hope you can keep it up. And my player of the week in AAA this week is going to be Kybert Ruiz, which is a name we haven't really heard this year, and I'm really happy to say his name. Top prospect for the Dodgers, someone a lot of people have a lot of high hopes for. Absolutely smashed that grand slam, by the way. Really solid week. Let's jump into it. Kybert Ruiz this week, like I said, he's a top prospect for the Dodgers, and a lot of people have so much hope for him. He actually got brought up last year, and he has had a couple bats this year, too. And he has had a couple of bats this year, too, at the pro level. Only seven, so nothing really to judge off of. But this week, a really good week. Over four games, he hit 462 with a 579 on base percentage and 1810 OPS. He had three home runs. He had six hits in four games. He had seven RBIs. He even walked five times. So just a really solid week for Kyber Ruiz. He wins MVP honors for this week for AAA, in my opinion. Awesome week. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for the week nine minor league recap. Again, as always, if you guys like these recaps, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if I forgot anybody. You know, there's a lot of pitchers out there that I just don't put in these videos that are really good and have had really good starts just because, you know, everyone loves hitting and, you know, it's kind of boring just to recap one start for a pitcher at a time, but there's some really good pitchers out there. So if I forgot even just pitchers, put them in the comments below or any players, put their stat lines below because it's easy to overlook these guys, you know? You know I'm human and I overlook some things. So help me out. Drop some stats in the comments below if I missed anyone or should have included someone in this video. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and you have a great rest of your day. See ya!